Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Telltale Games The Walking Dead. So last time we got that truck tankered out of the way just as a horde of zombies was approaching us. And uh, we got two new members to our party. We got um, Krista and her husband or boyfriend, Omid. Yeah, they've joined up with us. Omid's leg is injured because he kind of jump off bridges and stuff, you know. Normal people things. But yeah, so now we're all heading down to, you know, I think it's Savannah, right? That's that's where we're going. But yeah, we're heading to the coast and uh, somebody has been in contact with Clementine over her radio and it does not sound like her parents. <laughs> it sounds like some really creepy person who wants her to run away from Lee and it has me extremely bothered. Like, that's not a good thing, so we're just trying to... Previously, Here we go. On the oh, dead. right! God damn it! Every single time! Okay, <laughs> Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Yeah. No. Crazy, crazy lady. You're not coming with us. I don't know much Lily. about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Damn, last episode was just so depressing. <laughs> I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the now, one giving the bandits supplies. The good thing about that, I think, it's is, fault. like, the person was trying to convince no Clementine from to run away from Lee if he didn't want to go look for the parents, but we've already said that we'll go Shit. look for him. Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me with a lead motion. Yeah, see? Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Yeah. Seriously, that that's really fucked up. Because it's like, what would they even want with Clementine? You know, that's probably the worst and most worrying thing. Because there's not really anything that she could do. It's not like she has, you know, vast amount of medical supplies or anything like that. And it's just, it's a really creepy thing that they'd want a little girl, in my opinion. You know, it's not like you're just meeting her or anything. It's just, you know, trying to lure her away from adults who have her best interest at heart. And we, we're pretty certain that, you know, we can be pretty certain that that person just took that radio. So whoever is on the other end of there is not a good person, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's very pretty. Golly, I love oak trees. With all that Spanish moss just hanging off them, they are some of the most gorgeous things. See them a lot in the south. Near the coast. Around every corner. <laughs> You're, uh, not doing too well in that leg, are you? Don't worry, we were in your spot at one point. We, we made it out pretty well. I mean, we didn't fall off a train, but still. Come on, Clementine, keep up. Yeah, I'm holding on to this from now on. <laughs> Can't I just hold it? No. You can't be trusted with it, Clementine. That's your own fault. You should have come to us about this immediately. No, don't ask me again. Not now, Clementine. Just for a little while. We're getting real close to where um, I'm Maybe just... I can... I already told you no. Don't ask me again, okay? Yeah, What's gotta be strict. Letting her have it? it doesn't even work. Oh, it does you work. You take care of yours, let me take care of mine. Sorry I spoke. You don't understand the full thing here, Krista. It's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. We can rest. We need to keep moving. How much farther? You're right. Let's stop. Um, let's ask Kenny how much farther. How much farther to the? I don't want to be making executive be decisions. Just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there. there sure as hell, better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's our only it's hope, right? Okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Oh, look at Ben having faith in Pete. What the hell? Oh. Shit, is it a trap? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. That's Keep going to start moving. calling walkers. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. Oh. On a timer. Okay. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Uh, good point. <laughs> Hello? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. Hey, you up there. Yeah, I know what I, I saw, I know what man. I saw. I'm telling you, <laughs> there's know. someone if... up in that bell tower. Someone alive. Doesn't necessarily mean they're on our side. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. 
You I son of you a bitch. That thing didn't work. It wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? That's why I want to know. Hello. Hello. I said answer me. This isn't good. Well, we gotta go. That's going to start calling walkers here any second now. And they did it on purpose. So whoever that is, is after that? Clementine. Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty That's sure they're also the one who set off the bell. bell. Tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Well, let's get going, guys. What have I been saying? <laughs> You're a particularly thick-necked walker, aren't you? <laughs> Wonder what his story is. Just run, guys! Everybody, run! <laughs> Why are we just gonna sit there and curse? We need to go. Aw, he took out thick neck. <laughs> Where's Clementine? Good. Keep close, kid. Just put her on your back or something, man. We don't got time for this. Whoa, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny! Come on, man! Not Kenny! Kenny! Not Kenny! Not Kenny! <laughs> okay, we've already lost enough close. people. Don't you think? Sorry. Ben. Ah, Clem! No, Dang ben. it! Help her. Ben, do something, man! Do something! Ben! Okay, you know what? You're on my shit list now, kiddo. <laughs> uh, okay, hey. Trying to get you. There's so many thick neck bastards over here. Ah, uh, come on, stay away from her. Stay away. Ah, uh, yeah, Chuck, badass hobo with a shovel. Nice. Yeah, like I said, just throw the kid on your back. Are you sure about that, man? Don't die there. <laughs> I really like you. River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. God dang it. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell is Chuck? Chuck? No! We can't lose Chuck! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help Yeah. Him. Well, let's go. Kenny, I know you want to do no be time. awesome, we but... We gotta go, now! I'll be fine. Just go! Uh... Seriously? No decision. Just run and abandon him. He was so cool! He better survive, I'll man. Cause I would have saved his ass. Uh, that can't be fun. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Well, we'll just have to stitch it back up again. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. I agree. Let's go. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Well, I don't see you helping us. Outside, figure out where we went. Just you know okay. Well, blood. I'll find a way in. Just stop nagging, please. <laughs> okay, first up, Clementine. We need to talk, little Missy, because this isn't a Do good you think situation. The people saw us come back here. Are they going to find us? That's the least of our worries. No. Yeah, they didn't see no, us, sense. but. We were too fast for. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. Don't worry about it. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Yeah, I bet you will. Mm. How's he looking? I'm all right. Are you sure you're about that? Right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be. No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> It probably looks worse than it is. Uh, we'll take care of it. Don't worry She's about just it. worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. Okay, Come okay. On. I'm just Sit talking tight. to people. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Will we be inside soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Well, enjoy the cold. It'll keep you nice and awake. Aw. Looks like something was buried here. Was it the dog or is it a person is the question. Just a dog house. Uh, what else do we got back here? Uh, bird bath. Shovel. Everybody loves them shovels. 
Good for stabbing zombies and beating the crap out of doors. And I don't know, look at the fountain. It's a very green fountain. <laughs> oh, we're not going to be jumping on that. Hey, look, we got our railroad thingy back. It wasn't in our inventory before, but now it's there. Okay, Kenny, I got a shovel. This might help. Like, maybe? Um, how's the door? How's it coming? Find a way in yet? I can barely like read that. <laughs> Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. And... Oh, maybe I'm supposed to, like, dig up the mound. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Question is, did they hey, die in there, or...? Man. Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. I know, Kenny. I just want to make sure you're cool. Around, see what you can find. Well, let's go dig up a grave, because I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> like, if we're not using that, if we're not going to force it, then... Let's go dig up random graves, just for the hell of it. I don't think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find a way into that house first. Okay, if you insist. Um... Ben? You got anything? You want to tell me why the hell you just ran left yeah. Glim? She's been looking at you like a ba like a big brother, man. I'm kind of disappointed here. Well, you can get her girl's... stickers and shit, and then you just ditch I her? I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Yep. I can be forgiven, yeah. man, but you gotta grow up sometime, buddy. And think we can get in through one yeah, of these windows. windows? Any ideas? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. And what do you How think do you about think Kenny? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. Well, I wouldn't expect so. <laughs> deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. Like his boat is his last right. hope, dude. This is what their goal has been since they set out. Okay, well, I guess we can try. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Are you sure? Not even with this thingy? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Okay, if you insist. Um, what about this one? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What about the dog door? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way I'm gonna be able to okay, bust through fine. That. You don't want to bust through things. I get it. Maybe we can get Clementine to, like, go through there? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Seriously? Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so... The oh, door that's why we have to dig it up. It. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. No, it's actually very valuable why, information, so... Kenny. Where's the dog? Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Super dead. Poor pup. I'm sure it was a good dog, too. Uh, or else they wouldn't have buried it with such ceremony, right? Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, something I've always been kind of curious about. Like, with this... With this, I don't remember if they've ever addressed it, but... Do people, like, turn in the grave? Um, just, it's been here a while. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. It's just the dog. Ew, I can smell it from here. Gross. Well, back off, them in time. Come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Yeah. That, that's fine. But, um, yeah, because, I mean, everyone's technically infected, but if you died before the infection, I wouldn't expect... Oh, God, the smell. You know, to anyone to turn unless it just gets down into the grave, but then I don't see how that would work at all. Okay, well, let's get that collar. Poor pup. Sorry about this boy. Or girl. Can't get it off. Well, that took care of itself. Okay, is not cool. Sorry. Really? After all the shit you've seen. <laughs> I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Okay. Are you sure you're I said I'm fine, okay? Hey, that, well, that's a bit concerning. Well, can we... Can we bury it? I don't need that anymore. 
Well, you could rebury it. We, we don't need to leave it unburied. Uh, ooh, stinks like hell. Yeah, you can just... Okay, fine. We're not going to let the dog rest in peace. We're just going to leave it out in the air. That's fine. Okay, um, dog collar, go! Clementine, get your butt over here and crawl nice. through. Yes! God damn! Well, be happy that, like, the sensors and batteries all still work. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Alright, Clementine, you're up. Hurry! Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Or, you know, have Clementine do it. Man. It's no good. I can't get it. Oh, Here, Clementine. Let me try. I think I can. Or Clementine. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Clem, How's she are holding you up? Okay? Say something. Let's open the door, kid. She has dived in. I'm proud of her. I'm a brave little girl. Uh. Nice job. Just good job. You, yeah, but seriously, you should have asked this first. Good job. Whatever. Good job, it's Clem. good. She, she got. Yeah, way to go. She got done. I did good, right? Yes, You're sweetie. much braver than somebody we know. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Yeah, it, it's cool. Come on, get in here, man. Looks See okay from here. Everybody in. Need any help? You, you sure you hold up? All right. I guess he's fine. Close the door. Come on, lock that up. It's a very nice house. Very pretty. Nice high ceilings. Oh look, they even have a family portrait. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, baby. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Oh, the puppy! All the puppies even in the family portrait. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. Kenny, relax. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. Um, I only found out yesterday, let's be honest. I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Well, we there's a good reason for it. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because Correct. that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Because they wanted Clementine to be safe. I think they were helping us. They weren't friendly. They're stalking us. They're stalking us, basically. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. She's right, Kenny. You need to calm down. Let's just... Oh, right, oh, Chuck! I forgot about Chuck! Just up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. Yeah, come on. We can hold off for a you bit, man. feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Kenny, come on, buddy. You can... You can chill out this a bit. Secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. We know how to clear rooms, man. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do about Ben. What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Yeah, help okay. take care of people. You don't just need to go running off into danger at every chance you get. Oh, I worry about her. All right, let's see what's in here. Wonder if there's any food or anything. Probably not. It's probably cleared. Because I would... Oh, the dog food, too? Sink work? Nope. Nothing. Water's off. Poop. All right. Um, microwave. No power, cause all the utilities are off. No power. And dog food. I don't see what anything good that would be. It looks like a pretty empty bag. 
Just gonna Hopefully stare at it. Get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Oh, I'm sure it will come one day. <laughs> I mean, you guys were starving at one point. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay, well then we can look at that empty shelf over there, I guess. See if there's anything hidden away within the empty space. Oh wait, it's a fridge. It's not a shelf. What we got in here? Aw, the puppy's name was Walter. I love that the dog is the most depressing thing right now. It's kind of great. Everybody loves dogs. Well, just about everybody. Yeah, but did not expect anything to be entirely, you know, full of anything. We got a clock and some booze. Chuck will be happy about that if we find him again. Just stop working a while ago. Uh, look at the whiskey. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. <laughs> Jeez, Lee. How's it coming? It's gone good. It's it's absolutely fine. I'm just going to take this whiskey. Probably not the best idea right now. Really? I need to stay frosty. Well, I'm not saying to drink it, but I have it on hand. What's this? Looks expensive and heavy. Oh, we're looking at the Doubt any table. Doubt any be able to haul that thing too far. Okay, so. Expensive and heavy, that means that it'll probably be good for blocking things, right? Some broken paintings. Exactly Interesting. My style. It's weirdly gothic, right? Like it's a family home, you wouldn't expect it to be that dark. <laughs> oh, the poor family and their dog. They took some family photos, it would appear. Um, come in time. How's things holding up here? Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? We're working on it. No, but I'll take care of it. I'm just... I really want to talk with her about the damn walkie-talkie hey already. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. And, uh, has legs. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? We were in the same spot, right. so, you know, we get it, man. Feel you. We really do. <laughs> uh, what do you that think kind of has me worried, though, because it doesn't look like it's actually the going too well. It. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Him and Lily are in the Jenny's same. Son. We're in the same exact spot, I suppose. I hope you're right, for all our sakes. And the house. What house do you guys think? It's nice, right? I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I don't know, I that table back that. there is kind of foreboding. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. And I'm thinking that we're going to have to block something with that door, which makes me think that we're probably going to have to deal with... Okay, that's where we came in at. Don't want to go upstairs just yet. All right, let's check this room. Got to clear out all the rooms, right? Let's go. Yeah. Jesus. What is it? A mop? What? What happened? Just a mop. It's, it's cool. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Is it just a closet, really? <laughs> Those are some big ornate doors for just a closet. Okay then. And over there. And I think that should be everything, and then we can go upstairs and check with everybody else, right? Oh wait, there's some door over there. Ready? Let's go! Oh, it's just a bathroom. Hiding in here. You don't know that until you open the toilet. There could be a zombie head in there. Just one more to check. Just because it's decapitated doesn't mean it's dead. Does it? I remember. I don't think so, because you gotta destroy the brain. If the brain's not destroyed, then still keep going. A lot of closets, huh? That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Well, we don't know about the top floor yet. Thanks. Do you want to pour some whiskey on his leg? Is or okay? give it to him for pain? Yeah. For now, but I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. 
Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And whiskey. And there's some whiskey in the back. You want some whiskey? I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, tell us. Yeah, come on, Clementine. Here, Clem. We're okay. not going to be mad. You're not in any trouble. At you, anyway. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. I don't think that's Clementine. the case, Clementine. Honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? What's up? Ben? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's up? What's wrong? It's Kenny. What do you mean, it's Kenny? What's he doing? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. And what, he hasn't He's been back? There. I can't get him to come down. Well, what is it? Stay here. <laughs> this is super worrying. Okay. Um, poop. You know what? We're going to have to save it for the next episode, but... Yeah, see... Okay, Chris is in the same boat as me. She's on board with the idea that this guy has not the best interests of Clementine at heart, so... Yeah, but the question is, why stick the walkers on us knowing that Clementine was down there? Because she came really close to getting bit if it wasn't for, you know, Lee and Chuck, because she would have been trapped down there. So I don't think the plan was to grab her in the confusion or else they would have done that and stuff. But clearly they wanted to get her out of the way because that's probably why they warned us. But I don't know. Maybe they were hoping it would thin out our numbers a bit that somebody would die, in which case they might have gotten that right because, you know, Chuck might be gone. But golly, we're just not in a good place. This place is not safe. It's not good. I don't know what's going on upstairs with Kenny, but he is super on edge. He's like in the same exact mindset that Lily was when she snapped, and we all know how that went. And, oh, it's just so concerning. Like, I just want everything to turn out okay. Because, like, I like our group right now. I liked our group when we started, too, but... Well, not really. I didn't like Larry or Lily, but... <laughs> you know, these guys, the ones that we have, you know, they're pretty good. I'm getting really short-tempered with Ben right now, because you don't just ditch Clementine, man. She's the precious little puffball. You just, you don't do that. She's... Too good. She's too pure. She's just perfect and stuff, and he just ditched her. Uh, I'm getting a little disappointed with him. Like, I can be lenient when he makes stupid decisions, but that was too stupid of a decision. He needs to get on top of that. We're in the zombie apocalypse. You can't keep cowering forever. And, yeah, so next time we're going to see what Kenny's up to in the attic, and until then, you know, like and subscribe if you guys want to, and thank you for watching. <laughs>